guys, what is up? Today I'm here with another live reaction, aka review of Tac OP Destiny Episode 2. So after last week's phenomenal fir first episode, we were introduced to our characters, Tact, who is the maestro, Cosette, who is the music art, Anna, who is a friend of our two main characters, also knowing that this takes place in a world where music is basically banned um, or else they get attacked by the creatures go going by the name of D2. So we come to find out that they all need to attack Cosette and Anna needs to go to New York to basically fix Cosette because Cosette, from what we understand, is kind of broken. So she can't use her full power, knowing also that Tack is the maestro. Cosette is a music artist, so those two go hand in hand, and they use their powers together to defeat the D2. So we also have to find the purpose of exactly what's the purpose of why the D2 came to Earth, as well as the music arts, what's their purpose, um, exactly what it is about Cosette that needs to be fixed, why is she broken, why they need to go to New York specifically that spot and how will they defeat the D2 and bring everything back to how it used to be before all of this mess came to be. So with that being said, let's get to it. So it looks like we're starting off with a flashback and Tax dad is, he's dead dead. Ooh. So the year is October 14, 2037. That's like 14 years from now. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's Anna when she was younger. Younger. It looks like she has her sister. And the simple, simple nail, and the music art are the only threats to D two. It's a poison far too poignant for our current world. Ooh. Ooh. Dang. Like I said, can you imagine living in a world without music? Dang, man. So poor Tack lost his dad at a young age to the D2. Oh, so we're seeing where Cosette used to be lively before the Cosette we know. Dang. So it seemed like they were kind of like siblings before. They acted like siblings. I don't know if they're actually, I don't know if they're actually siblings or not. But they had a good relationship before what we currently have now, where she's basically like a living doll. So they practically all grew up with each other, Anna, Cosette, and Tad. Dang. That hurts. To know like the person you used to know is no longer there. Oh, the opening. Uh oh. Okay. 
seeing all the characters that's going to be introduced. Now, I'm really excited for this episode because we get to see how, basically, what happened to Cosette that turned her into who we saw last week. Like, you can already tell she probably died, but, like, what led up to her death or something like that. Yeah, I love how Anna says shut up. Yo, it is adorable. Oh my gosh. No, don't play the piano outside. What are y'all thinking? So they all knew each other from young age. I was right. Mm, so that's where the New York thing came from. They were already planning to go to New York anyway. Mm. He probably had dreams of playing in one of his father's orchestras, but Pops had to go. Wonderful performance. Except it's the rain. So they're saying basically the Symphonia party is coming to town. And obviously they know there's D2s running around, but they decide to have a musical festival? Logic? Okay, cool. Y'all took his piano? Man has to show up. Sargon Maestro. Okay, Maestro Sargon. Oh man, don't do it. Don't play the piano, bro. And this is where this disaster strikes. Oh, no, no. I'm scared. <sighs> I'm scared. I'm actually really scared of what's going to happen. It's such a nice song, but I am so scared. Ain't nobody paying attention. Come play along. Oh. Ah. Uh. Is something going to happen? Her necklace is glowing? I'm not bugging out. Her necklace is glowing. Why? They like each other. Mm -hmm. I freaking know. It hurt the piano, bro.
Oh, his hand, damn. Yo, she got it. Yo, she... And it's the same arm that he loses whenever, you know, he uses his power. What the hell? I knew it was a horrible idea, bro. Yo. Yo, Kosa is dead, bro. She had a huge gash on her, like, like, side of her was missing, bro. Yo, that's what I'm saying. The, the necklace was glowing. Why was it glowing? And it was the necklace her mother gave her. What the hell? Some avatar looking. Ripped off his arm. Okay, now I got more questions. Sucking his blood, the the avatar bit him, ripped his arm off, and transformed Cosette. Wow. Ding. Yo, I got his. That's it. No. <sighs> okay, that episode had me. It was a long flashback, but it was needed. Now we know everything that has happened. And it really sucks for both of these. Because I knew, like... They shouldn't have played the piano at the festival, but they still did. Cause they know that the threat of the D2 was still there. And it looks like um maestros are part of the government because they were wearing some official uniforms. So they're the ones I guess are the same ones that have their own music art that battles the D2. So we have to know more about them and what their actual name is. But I feel so sorry for Cosette and, and Tact and just all of them because obviously they're really good friends. They knew each other since obviously childhood. Him, Cosette, Anna, they all knew each other ever since um, Tact's father unfortunately passed away due to the attack of a D2 and it happened again and I found it interesting. Now I need to know the backstory of Cosette because while they were at the festival playing the piano, Cosette's necklace, it was like a, a stone necklace she was wearing, kept glowing and was glowing brighter. So when she mentioned earlier in the episode that her mother gave her that necklace, I want to know, is her mother fully human or is her mother at least half music art, half human? Or is there something else? Because that stone is pivotal to as to why Cosette was able to revive, even though she's no longer the Cosette that Tact and Anna knows and grew up with. It was the only thing that could save her because it transformed her into who we currently know as the music art. And it was kind of weird because like the avatar just bit off his arm and transform it to give him the the wand or anything like that that um maestros use i need to know the actual name terminology to use but um i found that very interesting i think that was probably the most pitiful pivotal thing about this episode is that rock that stone necklace that cosette was wearing where did her mother get it from just exactly who is her mother what is her background because that same stone 
help Cosette. It brought back Cosette, even though it's not the Cosette that the characters knew originally, there is something very vital about that stone and how it is connected to Cosette. So hopefully as the episodes go by, they explain more of Cosette's background, especially knowing that she's from France. How is she connected to Tack? How they came to be close and everything. And just what is really her background? Just really who is Cosette? Who is her mother? Um, and then going forth, uh, obviously they still have their journey to get to New York. So hopefully if by the end of the season they do get to New York, is it possible once they fix Cosette, will she go back to who she originally is? Or are we just going to be left with who we have right now? But this episode, I knew what we were getting to, but it just felt really sad. It's, it's, it was really sad to see what happened to all of the, these three characters and what went down and the unfortunate loss of a of someone that was so close to Tack and Anna, someone that they truly loved and cared for. So that being said, how do you guys feel about episode two of Tack OP Destiny? Do leave your comments, comments down below. Um, what are your hopes for the following episodes? What are some questions that you guys had regarding this episode, this week's episode? And also check out the links in the description box. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends Podcast. Have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. And I will see you guys later. Bye!